On my second day in Costa Rica, I refused to get lost, so I booked a tour and we went to the volcano gardens. They fed us first and then taught us a little bit more about the coffee history in Costa Rica. Like two halves, como dos mitades. At the beginning, al principio, van a empezar a salir de la semilla. While you're watching there, green, lo que ustedes ven ahí, verde, those are decotiledons, son los cotiledones. Decotiledons, they're like leaves. But they're Funny not enough, I found it very interesting how these actually reminded me of my current journey, which is that I am growing from this whole entire breakup that I'm going through and, you know, little baby steps i guess this is actually the area where they clean the coffee and also where they pack up and stuff like that not to mention that i'm a coffee lover so it was really cool to see how the coffee was made and the process that goes behind it Was something about this painting that i really liked and then i got some cute stuff at the gift shop and then it was volcano time i've only seen two volcanoes technically yellowstone and the one in hawaii but this one was so special it would get cloudy and you could not see it not one thing so it was really hard to get a picture but you had to like go really fast and the second crater was a little bit of a hike i was just so happy to see mother nature creating right in front of me was just beyond me Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm doing the second hike and I don't know how I'm gonna make it to the second crater. I'm already out of breath. I just got started. Very pretty. Really random tour that I took today. Staying hydrated. So cool. This little mini hike looked so cool. It looked like I was in a movie, like one of those like scary movies. I'm sure it dropped down as well. <laughs> I was just praying not to see any crazy snakes or anything like that hanging off. Didn't see anything, God. It feels so good in here. I think I'm like halfway. I suck at hikes, but I will not give up. <laughs> And we made it. So this is actually rainwater that has been accumulated inside here, which was pretty cool. It's obviously acidic, it has bacteria, so it's not recommended to go inside. If they're poisonous or something. Maybe we can try eating. We should try it. <laughs> Who wants to volunteer? Like we're on the street, it's not poison. You should try it. I don't think they're poisonous. I think they actually, they take Maybe you to like, they take you inside the inside crater. Park. Wait, so this looks like a dragon, right? Whoa, this is like the head yes. or a dinosaur, <gasps> a T-Rex. Oh my God, the little hands. <laughs> little hands over there. <laughs> oh my God. From here, it looks like, bruh. It's <laughs> randomly started raining, so I don't want my tan to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Best believe I got some goodies, including the one that I tried. And then we were heading out to La Paz Waterfall and Gardens, I believe it's called. But yeah, it's a journey, I feel like. You know, it's like a new chapter of your life. Well, more experience in life. Oh, morning. hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do this place was so beautiful. I cannot describe to you how crazy it was to be in the same room with these beautiful birds. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I love nature and it makes me so happy to be surrounded by so much nature. I mean, I, I couldn't take it. Oh my God, I've never seen one. Sleeping. There's two, yeah, like they're like taking a nap. That's a head. And it's like, oh my god, how cute. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. What?
The butterfly room had me literally going crazy. This one butterfly reminded me of my heart. That's right. <laughs> And it was just so beautiful. I could not stop playing with the butterflies and just looking at them, admiring their beautiful beauty. I felt like a little kid again, I swear. These are brand new butterflies that just got out of their cocoon. I finally got to see some monkeys. These are called, I believe, white face monkeys. And I forgot what the other ones were called, but these you actually see them a lot in Costa Rica in the parks, which I will be showing you guys in another video. <gasps> when I say that I felt like I was inside a dream, I don't even know what to say, but this was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. I'm like, I'm Cuban. I had one teacher from Italy and she was saying that that pineapple does not go in the Because? <laughs> no. I... Eddie. After having lunch with new friends, I went back to my dream and just started playing with the hummingbirds and I could not believe it. I actually touched one by accident and I just, I, I was freaking out. <laughs> These are the sugar flowers that the hummingbirds eat. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I tried that one. I never finished it. Really? Yeah. It's so, like, I think I tried it twice. Oh my god, and the guys is there chilling. Oh, he's being a kitty mom obviously this was just too adorable this little guy was actually making eye contact with me and i was trying to play with him like louis it was hilarious i've been wanting to pat one but i don't think this one's a smart move because they have like horns hi hello hi can you please not kill me yeah can i pet you Okay. They even had a whole place for orchids. This place was insane. Like it was just so beautiful. And then we went to the frogs, which you do not want to touch these if you ever see them. I'm not a huge fan of frogs but for some reason these look really cool and interesting to look at because I've only seen them online or on TV and for the first time I saw black elephant ear leaf I think it's called it was so cool Mother nature at its finest. I was so happy to be here. It was so much peace, just like it's called La Paz Waterfall. It's beautiful, a little scary going down those stairs, but really cool. Whoa, look at that. So we're like the last ones. Yeah. <laughs> they came to get us, oh my God. It's so beautiful, I don't wanna leave. I decided to go on a little date. Oh. Next day at sunrise, I was heading to my second tour to Manuel Antonio National Park. 
first we got some breakfast the very traditional breakfast in costa rica which is called gallo pinto basically rice with beans eggs it's a bit heavy but i was totally digging it one of the full costa rican experience walking distance our tour guide took us over to this bridge and i was like oh how cute what are we gonna see and then this happened <laughs> no voy a nadar aquí ah, no, este no. <laughs> Being a Florida girl, you would think this is normal, but I was freaking out. He said he's actually counted 50 before and that, I don't know, that just freaks me out. So we stop at this cute little gift shop and I had to actually get something for my water because you cannot take any plastic to the park that we were going to. kind of uh, roots going like this they're called monkey's ladders these are the flowers acá estas son las flores see and these are modified leaves this is some hojas modificadas the uh, plant's name in this case this kind heliconias that's what happened with the animals you know they learn to trust in people when people don't do anything to them this is black iguana. This is iguana negra. We have two species in Costa Rica. Tenemos dos especies in Costa Rica. So we also have the green iguana. Tenemos la iguana verde también. And the green iguana is bigger than black iguana. La iguana verde se hace mucho más grande que la iguana negra. You might wonder how come if they eat wood, they are living on this tree there. It's because the termites, they eat dead wood, not live wood. And this is live wood. That's scary. Red leg scraps. Son cangrejos patarrojas. They are here because this is, remember I see, said this is a mangrove area. Right now it's looking very dry. Rainy season coming in about a month and a half. This is going to be covered by water dirt. When we get to see one of these leaves falling down like this. Cuando vemos una hoja de estas cayendo así, the bats they make a cut here. Los murciélagos hacen un corte. So this is going to make a kind of tent. Eso hace como un tipo de tienda. And they sleep under. Y duermen allá abajo. They're called tent bats. Se llama murciélagos de tienda. That's so cute. Is it sleeping there? Is it sleeping there? And finally, the beach. Oh my God, I was so happy to finally be at the beach. I asked everyone which one was the best one and this one is definitely on my top list. These kids behind me apparently thought that I was an Instagram model. I mean, you know, <laughs> but it was so cute. I guess they made their father come and tell me how they thought I was so beautiful and they were just so cute. I tried to talk to them and tell them that they were beautiful too, but they kind of ran away because they were scared of me and super shy. And once again, you best believe I was in my happy place, just playing around in the sand, just living my life and just couldn't believe that I was in Costa Rica, that I made it to the beach because I was so scared to go to the wrong beach. Like I wanted crystal clear water. And as you can see, this was so fucking perfect. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. I'm staying here and I'm not leaving. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I wish I had goggles or something. Definitely want to come back here for sure. Really highly recommend checking out Manuel Antonio Park. It's really beautiful. It has sloths everywhere and really cool animal. And then we had dinner. I actually cheers for Independence Woman. We were all in solo trips. To Independence.